What's up, everybody? We are back with another episode of our mini-series leading into the MLB The Show 19 franchise. So, Rochester Red Wings, we'll take a look and see if anyone might have got it done. Nope, did not play. Okay. Continuing on, there he is, man, five, two for five with two runs, four RBIs in the game. So huge, huge production from Harrison, man. He did hit a homer with the four RBIs. I don't know that that was a grand slam, but it could have been. Who knows? And then Harrison, man, going 0 for 4 the very next game with two, for, two strikeouts, batting 222. Then in the third game, he went one for three with a walk and a strikeout, batting 250 for the series now. And in the closeout game, which they would lose, Harrison Mann goes one for eight. Oof. And a strikeout. So bats 200 in this postseason. Go to the Major League side. QJ Casimir with his second straight Silver Slugger award in the third base position. 33 homers, 88 RBIs, batting 263. Now we look at the Colorado Rockies once again with Colin Mentor. Miami Marlins do have Cameron Bats. I just don't know if he's going to play. So there's Colin. He goes 0 for 2. Two walks in the game. And nothing too big there. Let's see if Bats played. No, he did not. So the wild card game does go to Colorado and Collins squad scoring three runs in the last two innings to get really into the postseason. The other wild card game, Tom Terrific going up against Bill Pen Archibald. And Tampa Bay would win it and Archibald would get the save with a strikeout in that inning. Terrific did not get to pitch. Archibald takes the game, and they move into the postseason. Now, Colorado's taking on the San Francisco Giants. Colin Mentor trying to get the job done. They would lose that first game. The second game, Colin would go two for four with two runs scored and an RBI. So good stuff by Colin there. Two doubles in the game. In game number three, let's see what Colin did. He went one for three with an RBI, a walk, and a strikeout. But any little bit does help. So Colin contributing once more. Into the closeout game, which the Rockies would win. Colin appears to go two for four there. I can't, couldn't quite catch it. But I believe he went two for four. There we go. Let's do it again. Let's go again. <laughs> I can't even tell. But he did get a triple in the game. So huge in instrumental in getting the Rockies into the next step of the postseason. Let's see if Archibald's team could win a game five. And they do. And he may have very well gotten the save in that game. I doubt he would have pitched in this game unless he blew a save, which he did not. Somebody else did that. Let's see who else we got going. Did he get anything in game two? He did not. Game three. Archibald did pitch. He did pitch. Uh, he didn't get a win or a save, however. And then in the next game, Archibald, nothing. Nothing there. All right, come on, give him a save in game five. He earned it. Come on, give it to him. And there it is, his second save of the postseason. Even though he gave up a run, he did have a little cushion there. He gave up one of the two runs he could without blowing a save. Or the only run he could without blowing a save, to be honest with you. Now moving on, Kansas City Lynch went one for four with an RBI in the game. And Allen DH'd. He went 0 for four. So they actually let Allen play. And he didn't prove anything. But Lynch did hit a homer in the game, a solo shot. And the only run on the board for Kansas City goes to Lynch. Givens pitched in the game. And he went five innings, two runs given up. And that was two runs too many because they only scored one. 
Allen DHing and leading off went three for four in the game. And Lynch went over four. So a turn of events right there. Allen with a double. And then playing the final game, which they would get swept. Allen goes one for three, ends with a 363 batting average. So see what happens when you let the kid play some ball. Anyways, Rockies move on to face the Milwaukee Brewers. It's a 1-1 series. Now down 1-2, Colin is, to Marty McBombers. Now a tied-up series, and Milwaukee is going to take the series. Oh, no, it wasn't tied. My bad. I missed that little game in the corner. So Milwaukee takes the series a little more easily than I even thought. McBombers does not get into game number one. So nothing from McBombers there. Now we move to game two where Mentor went three for six, a run and an RBI in the game. He hit an RBI double. And McBombers still not getting into the game. He may have been sent down before the postseason. That's definitely possible. Because he has not played at all. And there is Colin going 0 for 2 with two walks. Now in a 10 to 12 loss. Uh oh, a lot of pinch hitters. Did McBombers get in? No, he did not. Colin would be not in there either. It didn't look like. Hmm, odd, strangely enough. He might have been. Let me know in the comments section how he did in that game because I just can't tell sometimes. There we go. One for three is Mentor with an RBI and a walk in this game. A game they actually won. And then the closeout game in a 5-1 to one loss. Colin could have done a little bit more. But McBombers didn't get in at all. But his team is going to move fourth to the World Series. Now in the ALCS, we have Archibald taken on the LA Angels. We'll see what he can do. And he will get through the LA Angels. Game number one is a 4-3 Tampa Bay win, and it's a third save of the postseason for Archibald. Game number two is a 4-3 LA win, and Archibald did not get the pleasure of pitching it. Then it's a 10-4 win for Tampa Bay, and Archibald did not pitch in it. Then it's a 4-1 win for LA, and Archibald not at fault for it, which is good. Then a 5-4 win, and Archibald gets a win. There you go, his first win of the postseason. Two strikeouts in one inning. He has a 180 ERA right now this postseason. He is doing great. Mariano Rivera-like. Now moving on, Archibald with his fourth save of the postseason. And down to a 150 ERA. Nice work by Bilpin Archibald. He will take on McBomber's Brewers. I doubt McBomber's plays in the series. But he wins the first game 8-5. to five. Possibility of a save there. Then a loss, which I hope he didn't blow one. Then a win, which he could have gotten the save in. Then two straight losses. They are down 3-2. to two. They are down 3-2. to two. Make it into a game 7 with a game that he could have had the save in. And now a game number 7. And it's a win. The Rays have won the World Series. Archibald has gotten himself a ring. Definitely has taken part in this World Series. Let's see how many saves he picked up in the World Series alone. Okay, in an 8-5 win, he picks up the save. His fifth of the postseason. His first of the World Series. Huge. Then it's a 4-9 loss. I hope he didn't have anything to do with it. Let's see. McBomber still hasn't gotten into a game, as you would expect. But... He's not getting a free ring. Archibald. Was that Archibald? No, that was somebody else with a save. So he couldn't have blown it, I don't think. Ooh, he actually batted in that game? Oh, wow. What the heck happened? All right, he definitely pitched in this one. What is it going to give him? Gives him another save. So two saves so far in the World Series. Even though he gave up runs, he made the game a lot closer than it needed to be. But you can't be perfect all the time. 
then a 7-3 loss. McBomber still yet to get into a game. He did not pitch. Then a 2-7 loss again. Another 7 runs given up by the pitching staff, and it's not his fault. Now a 6-5 win. And that is going to be nothing for Archibald. Okay. Five innings pitched, then six innings pitched. That's crazy. Two pitchers went 11 innings to get the win. That's crazy. All right. Another 6-5 to five win and a chance for his third save of the World Series. Does he get it done? No, he gets a win, though. There is a win. He pitched one inning for the win. He has a three ERA throughout the postseason. Definitely a key person on this Tampa Bay Rays team in winning this World Series. Bilpin, Archibald, congratulations, Bear. Your guy did a tremendous job in the postseason this year. We are actually going to see the awards section and see what actually happened who won the World Series MVP or the playoff MVP, because Archibald really should be in consideration for some of that, in my opinion. I don't know what you guys think. Let me know in the comments section. But Zach Lusk is going to win the World Series MVP. He was the DH. He had no homers, four RBIs, and batted 375. Now, postseason MVP is going to Reese Hoskins, who batted over 300 and did hit homers, 10 of them in the postseason. That's crazy. So, that that I can see happening, but World Series MVP, I thought Archibald was better. Y'all can let me know. I'm going to show you the numbers right here. So, the numbers for Bilp and Archibald, okay, these are wins, okay? That's a National League. So, Bilp and Archibald had just as many wins as anyone in the National League, and he was tied for second in wins with two. Okay, he also had a 3 ERA and a 1.1 whip. And he also had more saves than the rest of the postseason combined. Just my thoughts. Let me know in the comment section below your thoughts. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to drop a like, subscribe if you're new. Plenty more coming your way. Thank you.